Hello, it is Kiki with WeBeam TV, and you are? I'm Kat. I'm Lady Cat here, Lady Cat Camp. Kat. So, Lady Cat, tell me a little bit about your vendor setup here. Everything looks handmade. A lot of it is. I'm trying to teach myself how to sew. I'm in my 60s now. It's time to learn to sew. So, Lacy Bits is because I've started off by upcycling. Um, I've been upcycling old crocheted bits and old linen shirts, chopped them apart, and I couldn't find anything for larger sized women, so I started making them. So everything on my rack is plus sized. And I started making the, the you know, tie on bustle skirts. Ooh, yes, mm -hmm. I see here it's strapped around on the side and mm -hmm. it ties in the front. Yep, it looks like it's loosening at the moment, but and I made the belt. Um, the pouch is actually a sleeve I caught off of one of those. Oh, wow. so <laughs> if, if you want, you can actually take the microphone and uh, tell us about these look like neck cuffs and handcuffs, and if you want to walk around and show off your clothes. All right, thank you. These are all old crochet. When I can find two that match, then I can make cuffs out of them. Some of them are larger than others, but they're adjustable and you just adjust them with vintage buttons to whatever size your wrist is. And some lace, of course. Some of them are a little more delicate and Ladies some of them have octopuses and, and skulls and all kinds of things. Everything There's steampunk there. needed. <laughs> it is. I just liked a nice lightweight cuff that was easy to wash. And I'm doing Christmas tree ornaments now, and they're all lightweight. And yes, the glitter has been sealed to a fairly well, so it's not going to shed glitter. And these are Victorian jabots, just a very simple lace cravat on a ribbon, so it will go with any of your shirts. And it goes right on your neck here, like you're wearing. Mm -hmm. And I've got different little doobobs on them, little steampunk bits. My little octopus, and this one's got hearts and a key. That one's my butterfly. I like those. The Most of the lace that I'm using comes from an old, over 200-year-old family factory in Great Britain. They are still making Clooney lace there by hand on the old machines. So they do heavyweight lace, they do medium weights, they do very, very light weights. Gorgeous, gorgeous laces. So anything you need, really. Yes. All shades of whites, creams, grays, blacks. I love them. Show us some of the, the clothing here you have on the Thank you. This is more this is more of the tie-on bustles in different colors. I've got more purple ones and <laughs> one for Halloween and some copper colored ones and then the shirts the shirts are all upcycled old linen with hand hand applied lace and more vintage crochet I like that that looks like wings I like that mine has um, a little piece on the back and I'm working with some silk Silk has a higher learning curve for me. And vests, covered in crochet. I've got skirts. But there again, all of my stuff is plus sized. This one, I believe, is a size 26. That's a 2X. Because I could never find stuff for women my size. I also have, <laughs> I have, don't panic, I have a traveling towel. These are vintage linen tea towels. All of them are 55 to 65 years old. And so I should be really careful with this. No, no, they're incredibly hardy. You throw these in the wash. These are large enough to be used as bath towels. Instead of packing, I know the Siamese kitties. There's another one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Orange was very popular at some point. Um, 
instead of packing a cotton terry towel that gets musty overnight when you try to dry it, or if you've taken it out to the pool and dried yourself off afterwards or dried off after a shower, gets a little musty, linen is antimicrobial and antibacterial. It, it dries in a quarter of the time that cotton does. It's more absorbent than cotton, and it's gentler on sensitive skin. I wouldn't expect that from uh, an older material. Mm -hmm. Something that seems uh, linen, thin. an actual, an actual vintage fabric. <laughs> I love these. So they're small enough that you just roll them up, stuff them in a pouch or in a pocket, and you have your towel anywhere you go. So. I picked ones that I thought had interesting designs so that if you ever get caught hitchhiking, you have a story to tell them. Perfect for the time travelers. Perfect for the time travelers. Well, can you uh, go ahead and let us know what section we're in here at the Corsets and Cogs event? We're in the seamstress section. And as an upcycler, I'm in the seamstress section. Uh, even though I like things like the towels and the the tree ornaments, but the seamstresses, I feel pretty honored just to even be in here since I'm just learning how to sew. So. All right, come on down to the seamstress center and get yourself some handcrafted items. It takes a lot of time to make this a lot of effort. <laughs> Where can we find you online? Online, the only place I have so far is I'm on Facebook, and I'm under Cat C A T W Camp, and you'll see my w body camp. painting and my face painting as well. That's what I started with, and I own a cell phone. I don't know I what that is. Phone. We're in the steampunk era. What is that? <laughs> I own a cell phone. <laughs> So we've got Lacey Bits here in the seamstress at the Corsets and Cogs here at the Verizon Event Center right in Newport Ritchie. With her first uh, cell phone. <laughs> with her first cell phone. It's Kiki with WeBeam TV and we're out. <laughs>